Hey YouTube, welcome back to NK Beauty. I have for you today my June my June favourites. Oh my god, we're in July already. That is absolutely crazy to me. Just just absolutely crazy. I do not have that many beauty favourites um this month, but I do have a couple favourites. Um I am going to start with my beauty favourites just because those are they're like right here and they're just easy to get out of the way. Let me just grab them. Ugh. Okay. Um, this time of year, I generally don't wear a lot of makeup purely because I suffer from hay fever, like extreme, like I do not know how I have not started to rub my eyes right now. By the way, if you guys like the look that I'm wearing right now, I'll have the link for you in my description. Um, it is my Eid look two um this nice bronzy purple i don't know what i'm going to call it but i'm pretty sure i would have found a name for it then okay um let's get on with it so yeah i don't really uh wear that much makeup if i'm wearing makeup then it's literally just concealer mascara brows like bit of blush that's i mean just the very basics never wear any eyeshadow no eyeliner because that just smears and smudges everywhere um so uh, I don't ever wear waterproof mascara because I feel like that is really harsh on my eyelashes. I can never get it out properly and all of that. Um, so uh, mascara that I have been absolutely obsessed with, which actually I did not like when I first bought it, um, is the Benefit Roller Lash. This has been my go-to like every single time I want to put mascara on, this is what I've been reaching for. Now usually I use my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, but my mum's taken that from me. <laughs> She's not wanting to give it back. I wonder why, and I'm on like a makeup ban. Um, not like literally, but I have i don't want to buy makeup for a little while. I want to use what I have right now and not spend money on stuff that I don't need. So I've not purchased a new one of that. So this has been like the next best thing. Um, I don't love it as much as the Voluminous Mascara, but being as I didn't have that in June, this has been my favourite. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's really good. It rolls up your lashes. It doesn't add volume, which is what I don't like because the Voluminous Mascara both separates and adds volume, whereas this separates and curls. Yes. Um, so that's why I really like this. Um, I feel like it took me a little while to like get rid of like the initial um, clumpiness of it because when you first get a mascara you've got to use it a little while before you start to love it because at first it's got too much product in it and all of that sort of stuff. At least I found that's how it works with me. Anyways, I've rambled too much about this mascara. Um, my next favourite thing is actually been this uh, Naked Urban Decay or Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and not everything in this palette I've been loving. Oh my god, if I can get this open. I can't open it. There we go. It's actually been these two shades here and not for eyeshadow. I've actually been using them for my eyebrows. I use my um, Anastasia Brow Wiz every single day. Um, to fill it all in but then when I want to have like a little bit more oomph I basically mix these two shades over here which is Faint and Crave and basically fill in the outer co outer corner, outer side, outer, starting from about there basically um, going outwards just to darken it up and make it like that really nice transition colour. I've been absolutely loving that for these, brow for these brows, loving these for my brows, there we go. Um, no complaints whatsoever, absolutely love it in my favorites that's why it's in my favorites okay um the next thing is this nyx bronzer and i actually got this quite a while ago actually and i didn't wear it for ages it comes with like this little powder puff it looks like this i didn't wear it because it has quite a bit of shimmer in it it's not necessarily shimmer it's more like a sheen whereas i didn't wear it before because i thought it was a shimmer and i it just it was just in my drawer didn't really love it. It was it was being unloved. Um, this one is called uh, it's BB02 Daydream of a Oahu. Oahu, I think that's what it's called. Um, and I've just been using this to bronze up my face. It is summer. Um, I've not been wearing foundation, uh, so I basically with the concealer bits I powder those up, and then the rest of my face I just 
put bronzer so that has been my go-to I guess I would call it foundation not really foundation because it's just powder or bronzer um, but this is what I've been using on the outer edges of my face almost daily when I want to wear makeup that's what I would call it okay um, the next thing has actually been my favorite for a little while now but I don't think I included it in my in last month's favorite and it is this um, pure Lux multi highlighter by autograph it looks like this it's like it's got like this flower which is dying now because I've been using it so much um, I've had this for a few months now and this is the highlighter that I pick up more than my MAC Soft and Gentle, more than Becca Opal, more than every single highlighter I have, I pick this up. And this is because it just it's just the most amazing colour. Let me see if I could pick it up. It's just the most amazing highlight colour ever. I it's just gorgeous, look at that. Anyways, um I have been using this on my cheekbones. But the reason I'm including it in this favourites is because I've actually been using it on my eyelids um, this month. Just because, again, I don't wear eyeshadow. I, I just... Not only do I not have the time to put that makeup on um, in the morning. Well, I do, but I'm just lazy. But um, I rub my eyes a lot at work, at night, whenever I rub my eyes a lot so um, this is like the best thing to put on there so it just gives me a nice little wash of colour because it's a shimmer it gives like that three dimension makes it look like you've done a lot more work than you have this has just been amazing the last beauty favourite has been my staple it's my staple for ages but I lost it for a little while and then I found it I found it in a bag that I had just like I guess not fully emptied out that I thought I had um, and yeah and that is my Dr Organic um, organic virgin coconut oil lip serum and this is for ultra rich hydration I buy this from um, Holland and Barrett which here in the UK it's like a um, organic store is that what you want to call it like a health store there we go a health store that makes more sense um, and it's Ramadan so I can't really wear this during the day or at least I can I know I can but it's very hard to not lick your lips which basically defeats the point of fasting you can't really swallow anything so um, I've been wearing this at night um, because it's so thick it lasts throughout the entire night keeps my lips hydrated that makes me wake up with moisturized lips which is great because if anybody knows if anybody fasts everyone if anybody is Muslim and they fast and they know how it feels to fast and how dry your lips get during the day this has been my saviour. Um, there are times where I wake up with like a split lip as well and that has been happening quite often now because of the heat wave. The heat wave in London is absolutely ridiculous can I just point out. <laughs> um, so yeah I mean temperatures has been going up to I think maximum went up to was 37 degrees celsius um, which is absolutely crazy because we have no aircon here, like London or the UK is just not equipped for this, this type of heat. So lips, everything just gets dehydrated, okay? So lips is like the first thing for me to get dehydrated because I have dry lips in general. So this has been my saviour. If any if any time I get a cracked lip, I just pop that on that area, uh, rub it in and leave it on for a little while and then take it off if I feel like I need to lick my lips um, and at night this is just my saviour so I love this this is my absolute favourite 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 love it and the next thing I want to talk about is actually really really random because like who would include this in a favourites video me anyways this month I've actually been really obsessed with baking um, and stuff I don't really cook that much at home just because my mum is a great cook and I may know how to cook some things um, but she's just like amazing and I'm like the person who bakes and makes all the sweet stuff at home because my mum's my mum loves doing that or my mum is really good at doing it but it's very rare that she does it so <laughs> I have been obsessed with baking and making things so I went out and I actually bought myself 
three like cookbooky type things. Um, this one's for cupcakes and muffins. Just yes. Who doesn't need one of these? And one's for baking and then one's for pies. Now the pie one I actually expected there to be a lot more sweet things um, than there actually is, but it's been pretty good to me. Um, but in general, uh, before I bought those books, I was looking at YouTube, and YouTube was, is my obsession in general. Um, my two favourite YouTubers that are for cooking is Laura in the Kitchen, obviously. Come on. <laughs> She's amazing. Her stuff is absolutely amazing. I have never, ever failed at making one of her things. Her steps are so easy uh, to follow. She's just such an amazing, like, she's got this great personality. You feel like you're you're there with her. You're laughing. She's making you laugh. Um, and it's just amazing. It's just, I cannot say the word amazing more in this video, can I? <laughs> she's great. Another YouTuber that I actually only recently discovered that I absolutely love is A Home Cooking Adventures. And her stuff is just, <sighs> I made, um, I think it was, yeah, it was a Nutella cheesecake and I'd never ever made a cheesecake before and this cheesecake was, <sighs> <laughs> just gorgeous it was absolutely gorgeous even like people who came over and had some was like what you made this and I was like yeah can you believe it like I made that <laughs> um yeah no it was at, oh just <sighs> yes those two channels have been my favorite um baking cooking um not cooking baking making sweet stuff has been one of my favorites in June and yeah, I don't have a song that is a favourite in June just because it kind of rolled over from May to June from that song that I had last time and then in Ramadan I've not really been listening to music, it's not really supposed to, um, so there's that. One other thing that I have been absolutely obsessed with, obsessed, and I do not take this word lightly, charmed. Charmed is on Netflix and Charmed is like my childhood series so I was like oh Charmed let me see and I clicked on it clicked the first episode and it just went off from there. Yep 10 episodes in the first day. <laughs> Obsessed. I watch this just before I sleep, when I wake up, when I'm changing, when I'm cooking, when I'm doing anything I am doing, I am watching Charmed. Any free time I have, I am watching Charmed. Just, it just brings back so many memories and I missed the episodes with uh, Prue in it and the episodes I'm watching now have got Prue in it and it's just absolutely amazing. Um, that's been our obsession. That is it for my favourites video. I know there wasn't many beauty favourites or things that I could show you and it was all me talking and all of that. But that's just my life. So I will see you guys soon. Don't forget to check out the tutorial uh, for this look in the description box below. I hope you have an amazing day. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe as well. It means the world to me. Um, I'm sort of edging up to a thousand subscribers. So help me get there. Help me. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Bye.